Supabase, a complete backend for web and mobile applications based entirely on free open source software. The biggest challenge when building an app is not writing code, but rather architecting a complete system that works at scale. Products like Firebase and Amplify have addressed this barrier, but there's one big problem. They lock you into proprietary technology on a specific cloud platform. Supabase was created in 2019 specifically as an open source Firebase alternative. At a high level, it provides two things. On the back end, we have infrastructure, like a database, file storage, and edge functions that run in the cloud. On the front end, we have client-side SDKs that can easily connect this infrastructure to your favorite front-end JavaScript framework, React Native, Flutter, and many other platforms. As a developer, you could manage your Postgres database with an easy-to-understand UI, which automatically generates REST and GraphQL APIs to use in your code. The database integrates directly with user authentication, making it almost trivial to implement row-level security. And like Firebase, it can listen to data changes in real time while scaling to virtually any workload. To get started, you can self-host with Docker or sign up for a fully managed account that starts with a free tier. On the dashboard, you can create tables in your Postgres database with the click of a button. Insert columns to build out your schema, then add new rows to populate it with data. By default, every project has an authentication schema to manage users within the application. This opens the door to row-level security, where you write policies to control who has access to your data. In addition, the database supports triggers to react to changes in your data and Postgres functions to run stored procedures directly on the database server. It's a nice interface, but it also automatically generates custom API documentation for you. From here, we can copy queries tailored to our database and use them in a JavaScript project. Install the Supabase SDK with NPM, then connect to your project and sign a user in with a single line of code. And now we can listen to any changes to the authentication state in real time with on auth state change. When it comes to the database, we don't need to write raw SQL code. Instead, we can paste in that JavaScript code from the API docs or use the REST and GraphQL APIs directly. And that's all it takes to build an authenticated full stack application. However, you may still want to run your own custom server side code, in which case serverless edge functions can be developed with Dino and TypeScript, then easily distributed around the globe. This has been Supabase in 100 seconds. If you want to build something awesome on this platform, we just released a brand new Supabase course on Fireship.io. It's free to get started, so check it out to learn more. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.